hello guys welcome back this is Mohammed fast fix and super murder uh, guys today I'm gonna show you uh, another tutorial of how you can jailbreak your console uh, from from official firmware to full custom firmware uh, in th this tutorial will be longer because I'm not gonna divide the this tutorial into parties so i will show you the complete uh, tutorial uh until you sign in your psn and uh, yeah so uh the reason i'm making this tutorial guys is for two reasons guys uh if you are one of these two reasons uh, so you have to uh, watch this video and follow the stevis correctly uh this tutorial is for those who have a gel breakable ps3 model uh, the two reason is that uh, if you are on already custom firmware 4.85 reback kex so watch this video i will show you how you can get on dex because as we know that most of the mood menus only will work when you are on dex not only on kex so those who have already installed their cast uh, their jewel broken ps3 uh, the custom firmware reback 4.85 and those who are uh, and can't convert to dex so this is your video this is your tutorial so watch this tutorial guys and i hope you will enjoy and will like the other reason is that those who have never jailbroken PS3 and those who have got a jailbreakable PS3 in their hands and uh, uh, those and wanted to jailbreak, so follow this tutorial. This is your tutorial. But if you are on Super Slim or some of Slim uh, models which is not jailbreakable please this is not your tutorial but you can watch anyhow uh for future uh for educational guys so let us get to start uh before we start uh, all you need guys is to make sure that you have a jailbreak by ps3 so in some ways you can check whether your ps3 is jailbreakable first is to check the model number the sticker on the back side and under the ps3 so when you find a check uh 21 or 22 or 23 25 uh make sure that some of 25 cannot be jailbroken the the best thing to do is that to use a software which is called minimum version or minimum firmware checker it will show you the minimum version you can downgrade your ps3 or the minimum firmware that sony has released released the first time the ps3 has come okay so uh, as you can see i'm on uh official firmware 4.85 <clears throat> i'm on 4.85 if i go to the system information as you can see i'm on 4.85 guys uh and i will show you uh, uh what you can do the next step so i have already uh, made uh, different stevies on on my P on my pc so let us go to the pc okay here we are on the pc guys okay now uh download this download this folder uh from the link in the description guys and this folder you have all the required files in this tutorial for this tutorial guys so the first is see uh, i made on uh, first one two three so flow as one up to okay so the first step is to uh, check whether your ps3 is jailbreakable or not though uh, if your ps3 all jailbreakable ps3 model is are here ps3 slim <coughs> as you can see these model is are jailbreakable 100 percentage and ps3 fat this uh, fat 
uh, all these are fat all fat uh, models are gel brick well guys but you have to make sure that <coughs> what model ps3 you got and uh, what uh, when you get the ps3 model for example uh, i don't want to make uh, too much time here so my ps3 right now which i'm gonna gel brick is 21 uh check 2104b okay 04b so this is my ps3 model guys so let us check if it comes in the list okay as you can see my ps3 model comes in this list that means i got this model and i got it has uh, the chip is nor so the ps3 has got um, nor nan or emmc uh, some fat uh, uh, no super slim so uh, 16 mb nor because slim when you gel brick is faster more faster than fat because fat uh, chip is 256 some fat if you have none so it is very big so it can take little bit time so all fat are gel breakable some slim are gel breakable all these are gel breakable and my model number is this one so i got this one it's gel breakable but i have to make sure uh, software which tells me that the ps3 is gel breakable or not or it will tell me the minimum firmware version which can be downgradable downgradable okay as you can see that the model 3000 4000 cannot be gel broken because they are some slim and uh, they are uh, super slim which is not gel breakable but the super slim as well as you have money stuff you know exploit which you can install hand hand and you can get a package manager you can install the game in your disk you can mood your game is so which is fine guys uh, but it's not gel broken guys okay now uh, and the minimum version will check if it will show you 3.55 or lower than you can gel break your ps3 okay just to use the minimum version let us go okay copy this folder go to the usb right click format your usb with fat 32 if you did not format it before format okay okay when you format is complete close open usb test the minimum version checker this will tell us if our chill our ps3 is gel breakable or not let us go to the ps3 guys now i go to the ps3 system update v update from via storage media don't update your ps3 from from the internet from the sony okay via storage media from usb so now uh this one will tell us okay now i get 3.2 guys 3.2 because as i said if your ps3 minimum version which sony has released the first time it came out it was produced with 3.2 if it is 3.5 3.4 3.3 2.7 1.0 so you can gel brick but if it is 3.55 it is over 3.55 you can't gel brick okay now we know that our ps3 is gel breakable guys let us go back let us go back to the let us go back to the computer guys let's go back to the computer okay insert usb into the computer open this folder step 2 delay this folder 
and the USB okay now put aside open step 2 copy this folder and paste it here okay close this one and when so this is the USB when uh, when transfer is done so we will go back to the PS3 and continue the process and we install fast time hybrid firmware guys hybrid firmware okay we install hybrid firmware so the hybrid firmware 4.85 will make our ps3 ready to be jailbroken it is not a uh, jailbroken when you install hybrid firmware it is ready so we can install we can proceed our so this is now we are on now we are on ps3 okay okay uh system update via storage okay via storage we got 4.85 hybrid firmware okay okay install this one so guys next accept start sometimes is some people get error when installing it can be that you put the usb in a wrong port if you put your usb the left uh, the left side port i think you can get error so make sure you put the you, you insert the usb into the right port next to the blue right i mean on your ps3 okay guys now uh the ps3 will switch off uh, not a switch off it will soft switch off and continue checking for update if the update is correct it will install if the update is not correct file it will give you error okay so let us wait so if if it if your usb is formatted with fat two fast if your usb is inserted the right port which means is the right port next to the blue ray and if you get the error so you need to boot your ps3 as a recovery press and hold the ps3 and the ps3 will switch off and again press and keep hold okay press and keep holding then the ps3 will beep like this beep Beep, beep. So when you get this beep, release your uh, start button and it will come to the black screen and it will ask you to connect the, the controller. And when you connect the press, press uh, the PS3 button and then press start the button together with select this together and it will start to install the update okay guys when you install the hybrid firmware so your ps3 is ready to be jailbroken your ps3 is ready to be jailbroken now it seems that jailbreak uh, you know uh, installing hybrid firmware it's done the ps3 will start again the ps3 is restarting again now guys as you can see okay now what we are gonna do is we go to the computer okay we have installed hybrid firmware but nothing happened nothing happened you can't see anything there is no debug manager uh, there is no package manager there is no jailbreak stuff here no. everything is the same but no. our ps3 our ps3 is ready right now okay so let us go to the computer guys now now we need guys to dump our file to bag our our ps3 before we flash our b before we jailbreak if something goes wrong we have our backup okay now go to the 
internet browser guys so when you open guys your uh, you, uh, the browser uh, you will get that another page or not this page the other page is that the Sony page the Sony default page so when you get that page press triangle go to the tools go to the home page click use uh, click uh, use blank page okay blank page close the page open again the page will start as a blank but we need to do something more press this triangle go to the tools delayed cooks again delayed siege tools delay catch so you have to delay these three it is very important guys it will make your ps3 without an error okay now close open again uh press triangle uh, no sorry when you open this page press start the bottom right here ps3 exploit ps3 exploit as as you can see now ps3 exploit press start the bottom or x now uh, when you write this press start the bottom this page this is the official page the developer is page so go to the flash dump we need to flash our we need to back up or dump our file so go to the dump flash dump go to the dump flash to usb i will back up my flash file to the usb and i will choose my ps3 chip which is nor as i told you at the beginning if you remember the fat ps3 and super slim has none not all the fats some fat have none some fat has uh, have uh, nor so you have to make sure get the, your ps3 model check with that ps3 model list see which chip you have my ps3 chip is nor click nor okay when this page displays open this up press triangle go to the tools go to the page and click use use current page okay okay now close the page open again okay doing this will make your process very fast and without error okay uh it says that your firmware version requires hybrid firmware to be installed which i have already installed you know that official firmware is not supported if you are ofw and you you need to dump that does not go that will not work guys you need to install hybrid firmware then you need to flash your okay okay now make sure your usb is on the right side some people say i get error blah blah because they forget to insert the usb into the into the ps3 or they put the usb into the wrong side or the usb was not formatted with fat 2 guys don't send me a message saying that i can't uh, i get error make sure that your usb is formatted with fat 2 make sure that your usb is inserted into the right port next to the blu-ray the blu-ray dvd drive make sure that usb uh, that you have inserted the usb into the right port make sure that do you put the folder into the usb okay okay come up guy don't sleep when you make this process okay click initialize so let us give time initialize so it will check if everything is okay if the usb is the right port if the file is there uh everything if everything is okay it will give you green text then we will go next step to dump okay now everything is success go to the dump nor flash to the usb 
so we are making a backup a dump to our usb flash why because if something goes wrong guys i have my dump file in my usb in a safe place on the computer so i can fix this file later time but you have to have e3 flasher had hardware or if you don't have you have to go someone who has with e3 flasher you will need an external third part hardware okay now let us give a time wait until we get a green text which says everything successfully or completed okay now no flash dump operation completed guys follow the series i'm doing don't rush don't make stress just to do the way i'm doing okay as you can see check your usb device for dump.hex okay now let us go to the computer and check the file we have dumped and we have as well as we have to validate that dump file dot hex okay now we are on the computer guys we are on the computer okay and we get this file dump dot hex so what we, what we need we create a for a folder name it with the your us your ps3 model number like this one and put this into the into the folder okay now delay this so you have already here okay guys now let us go to open here and open this one copy this one and put inside validating flash dump okay drag and drop on bs3 dump tool see i get okay with a green text if you get problem guys you will get rules zero rules header rules one if you get this these two error with red text don't say yes to batch this you have to go back and make again dump file and now i get green tickets everything is fine so i can say yes okay now it is it's dumping oh okay now dump was successfully batched and it's ready to be flashed okay so our we can flash one more thing guys this is my ps3 model number if you remember two one here two one zero okay and the minimum version checker if you remember it was 3.2 okay and the dump has been validated everything is fine close this one and close this one uh now let us go back and go to the and let us flash to our ps3 copy this file and paste it here okay close both of them and remove your ps uh, usb from the ps3 uh, from the computer and boot it insert it here okay now close this page now before you close you can go directly to the page okay or close this page open right here ps3 exploit okay sorry right here ps3 exploit because here is l i forget 
Okay, PS3 exploit and start. When you come to this page, we have done this step. We need to do this one. We flash our PS3. Flashing is gel breaking, guys. Okay, 4.85 hybrid firmware, yes. Go to the USB, yes. And go to the chip, no. Okay? If you need to flash to your HD, you can use HD in your hard disk. But I have USB and I will use my USB. Okay, now. So before you start, do the same way. Triangle, press triangle. Go to the tools. Go to the home page. And use current, current page. Okay. Now again, go to the triangle. Tools. Delay cooks. Delay history. And delay catch. When you delay this, close this page. And press X, open again. It will take you directly to the flash page. Okay. Okay. Now we are on the flash page. So initialize first. Make sure the USB in on the right side. You see, exploit initialization, success. Now go to the patch nor flash. So now we are flashing. After flashing, your PS3 is completely jailbroken. So install any firmware, any custom firmware you need. Rogero, uh, Ferrokis, uh, Reback. But I prefer always to install Reback, okay? Because Ferrix is, is always Kex uh, and uh, most some people use Kex instead of Dex because they don't need to mood too much. So I mood too much. I use different mood menus which only support is when uh, only support is in you know Dex, not Kex. So that that's why I want to use reback okay guys so now uh it will take little bit time give it time guys and make sure to flow the, the same way i flow don't uh, skip a file don't skip guys if you skip one one step uh and you get error okay now you see nor flash memory batch operation completed guys now let us close to the page and let us go to the computer our now your playstation 3 is completely hacked gel broken now uh, disconnect here the usb and insert it to the computer so this is my usb delete this file we don't need anymore unless i get another ps3 okay now uh we have done this step this validated dumped hybrid female minimum version now we need to install reback custom female 4.5 you know why i'm installing this because i want to show you guys the two reason the the first reason was that uh there's some some of you have already custom firmware reback 4.85 and they wanted to go to dex so this is that's why i'm i will install this one and i will show you how okay and if you are on uh, uh, first time jailbreaking it is the same so install this one no problem copy this folder to here on your usb this is Reback custom firmware 4.85 guys custom firmware 4.85 okay okay now close everything Disconnect the USB from the computer. Go to the PS3. 
now we are on ps3 guys let us try from here system update via storage so install 3.55 rogero so sometimes it goes sometimes it doesn't go okay update data is not supported on this system okay now all we need to do is that you have to uh, press your ps3 start button until it goes it switches off okay keep holding okay press and keep okay again again press and start and keep holding when you ps3 is switch off sometimes it will switch off again three beep okay now it will switch off keep keep okay now the ps3 switch off now press again and keep holding three beep okay beep beep yes three pips so when you hear three pips and it will come to the recovery it will go to the recovery move connect to your controller press this one and go to the system update so now connect storage media that contains update data of version 4.85 or later and then press start the bottom and select okay select and start the bottom together let us see if this will work guys if the file is correct so it will go if not maybe the file is corrupted maybe the usb is not formatted 582 maybe the usb is not inserted the right port next to the blu-ray blu-ray okay as you can see It starts to install. That means that I formatted my USB with FAT32. I put the, the the file, the folder into the USB. I inserted the USB into the U, into the PS3, and I inserted it the right port. Then uh, next to the Blu-ray, Blu-ray, uh, because we got two USB port slim here. So one is the left and the other one is the right so use the right one always when you move your ps3 now we are what we are doing now is that we are moving from up from 3.4.85 to 3.55 okay so when we install this file and then we install toggle QA we have installed our PS3 uh, the Rogero downgraded 3.55 it will say the hard disk database will be rebuilt okay and will be formatted yeah just a format 
It's okay because uh, because of the downgrade area. Uh, sometimes you don't see this message. I don't know why I get this, but it is fine if it's format because I don't have anything on this PS3. Okay, and the PS3 will start again. You see guys, Rogero, so that means it's 3.55, that we have downgraded our PS3. Now we need to install, we need to install, uh, you know, it John Jet install package files instead of a uh, package manager. You know, when you are on custom firmware reback, it says uh, package manager, but now it says install package package files okay let us install toggle qa okay okay guys when you install this one so you need to press x and keep holding until you hear until the ps3 starts restarts okay x and keep hold the X button. Keep hold. You hear beep. You see? You hear three beeps. Beep beep beep. And the PS3 will start. So we have we have toggled our PS3. Now we can install you know uh uh, we, we have to go back to the computer. Uh, guys, now we are back on the computer. Now we have to uh, step 8. Uh, we will install official firmware 3.55 OFW. So after Rogero, you install OFW 3.55. Install uh, 3.55, guys, 3.55 uh, OFW, official firmware. Okay, install this one. If you install Rogero and uh, you skip uh, OF 3.55 and you try to install Reback Custom Firmware, that will not work, guys. You will get error. Okay, so let us go to the PS3. Okay, so let us try again. So copying the file does not make sense because it will copy from the USB to your hard disk. But when it tries to install, it will check if, you're the, if, the, if the file is correct or if everything is correct. So that's why we get the error. Okay, let us hope that everything will go fine, guys. If not, we will try to install from 
from recovery. Checking. This is the uh, the most important, guys. Now it is installed. You see. So I recommend you always when you install a file, always restart your PS3. Restart your PS3. It will help, guys. Before you take another option or you, you, you okay so restart always i'm computer expert i i'm it i work a high school as it consultant eight percentage of microsoft problem or any other software or mac air apple eighty percent it resolves only to restart the computer if you can't connect internet if you get some error just restart your computer okay now we have installed OFW 3.55 guys no rogero as you can see the BS3 is normal okay? Let us get uh, a Rebecca Custom Firmware 3.44, guys. 3.44. Okay, that's we have done. Now this one. Custom Firmware, I will use this one. Rex. D-Rex is only Dex. So I will use Rex, okay? Copy this folder and put it here on the USB stick. Uh, at the same time, guys... I will copy uh, all home braves, all these files. Okay, all these files, or you can choose which one you will install. Okay. So when I install uh, Rebac 4.84.2, then I will install Home Bravis, and I will show you how you can uh, convert uh, to Dex uh, your PS3. Okay, guys. So let us go back to the PS3. Let us go to the we install Reback custom firmware 4.84. So now 4.84.2. Let us try or let us see if we need. Okay, now it's fine. Okay, start.
Uh, you don't need this one. Toggle QA, you can delete this. Okay, delay this one. Okay, now we are on uh, 4.84. So let, let us install uh, Reback Toolbox. So this is Reback and we install uh, all Home Braves, all these Home Braves. So all we need, instead of installing one by one, we do like this way, guys. Okay, go back and when you are here, press triangle and install all packages. Okay. Now install is complete guys. We have installed all home braves. So now we need two more steps. We have to install Multiman and juice uh, so just to say all yes yes. Okay, now <coughs> install webman. Uh, go and install webman. So when you install webman, you have to press, hold down L1. Okay, press X and see until the light switches off the light of your control will switch off then release the light of your control will switch off and when it is switch off the you can release so you have installed webman multiman all home braves and now all you need to do is and even install this one this one yes or restart the ps3 so guys we have installed everything and now i will show you how to uh, convert your ps3 from kex to dex now we are on kex as you can see 4.84 so let us go and convert the ps3 so the first time you need to convert you will you have to make uh, this uh, you can export flash to file but i have a dump file so i don't need just a dump a root key to your usb if you use export flash you will need usb but if you use only dump 8 uh this is uh to do the first time you will need to dump 8 to your hard disk okay dump 8 yes convert from kex to dex in order to use some mood menus that only support dex we are still on kex you see we dumped our file now we go this was this column see toggle q uh, down here 
we dump this file and we go the next column which is dex sex okay so the first step rewrite target id in flash okay rewrite target id in flash this one okay and up swipe lv2 kernel from retail to dex now the ps3 will restart and we are on dex guys and we will make one more step we have to change the setting little bit and okay as you can see we are completely on dex right now okay so we will make little bit change here okay system mood reback xmb operation mood dex yeah it's fine and debug mood menu type dex okay so enable it enable it enable it it's fine and our toggle qa enable it now we are on dex so let so let me show you let us sign in guys okay guys when you need to sign in the bsn you have to press triangle and uh, uh, r2 together with triangle and you will hear like that when well, custom female say already disable it okay then go here sign in as you can see i'm signed in okay you see